Welcome to Clodagh's Summer Suppers. I'm excited to share with you my seeded cheddar bread. Um, it's a version of my much beloved rosemary Clodagh bread that you're all baking, I'm sure. What I do is when I mold it, I shape it into eight different wedges and then I fill the top of it with all different seeds like sesame and pumpkin. And then on the inside, I put lovely Dubliner cheddar cheese. And when I'm entertaining, I put it in the middle of the table. It looks like a flower full of colors and delicious taste, of course. So get baking. So we're going to bake my seeded cheddar bread. It's a really simple recipe. As I said, it's a variation of my rosemary clover bread. So it's wholemeal flour, plain flour, bicarbonate of soda is the raising agent. And then the liquid is milk and yogurt together. You can use natural yogurt or Greek yogurt, whatever is your preference. Um, and then we're putting in beautiful um, Dubliner cheddar cheese into it, which will get mixed into it all. And then for the toppings, I have sunflower seeds, cumin, fennel seeds, pumpkin seeds, poppy seeds, um, sesame seeds, mustard seeds, and also black mustard seeds as well. So it's gonna be so colorful. So the first thing you want to do is start weighing up all your ingredients. So for the exact measurements on everything, just click in the link below. And I'm actually live online at the moment, so if you leave me any comments, I'll be able to answer them straight away. The wholemeal flour I don't sift, but the plain flour I do sift. So in goes my plain flour. And then I put in my bicarbonate soda. Then the next thing I'm going to do is grate in my cheddar, about half of this. I have a little snack for the chef. I love using a microplane whenever I'm grating cheese. See how it gives lovely kind of angel hair? And the reason why the angel hair is great in something like this is that it's so fine, it gets throughout the whole bread. It becomes like part of the flour. And so you get the flavor of this gorgeous Dubliner cheddar cheese throughout the whole of the bread. It's enough, I think I need a little bit more. When you're mixing it, you need to mix it really, really well and mix it with your hands. Um, that way you can just tread all of the bicarbonate of soda all the way through the flowers. If you don't do that, you get little green spots in your bread and it doesn't rise properly. My everyday bread is called my rosemary clover bread. Um, and if you want to make that version, don't add in the cheese. Instead, you add in fresh rosemary um, and then just follow the rest of the method. So next, I'm adding in my yogurt into my milk and then I put in about half at first, then I use a fork to mix this all together. So you want to keep this as light as possible. So I always think that with something like this, if you visualize in your head lightness, then you'll be light with the bread. And if you knead it like this, it's not going to be lovely and light, like the way you want it to be. A little bit more liquid, and then I'm going to shape the sky up, flour my surface, Bring your bread together out onto the well floured surface. Your bread wants to be lovely and wet. And then I'm going to pop it onto my baking tray. Again, another little bit of flour. Lovely and light. Push it down like this. And then with your knife, you want to cut it into eight wedges. Push them right back so you can actually see the bottom. So slice it down and then push it to the left, push it to the right. Then switch it over, and then another one. There's one thing that you decide this summer um, that you're gonna start making. If you don't cook a lot or bake a lot, make bread. It fills your house with smells. It makes your house a home. I'm going to brush all of the bread with the leftover liquid that I had. And this will give you a lovely crunchy texture to it once it's baked. Make sure you get down in between the wedges as well. And so this is the fun part, putting all the different seeds on top. The wonderful thing about this bread, um, when I make it and I put it into the centre of the table, is that it's a showstopper, it's a big wow factor. And everybody, you know, breaks the bread and shares the bread together. And it's a big tradition in my home that when people come for supper, you break the bread together. Um, and it's an old Irish tradition to do. Fennel seeds. And then lastly, black mustard seeds. And I always put 
a little sprinkle of really good quality sea salt flakes over my bread because I don't put salt into my bread. Look how beautiful this is. So it goes into the oven at a very high heat for 15 minutes and then I reduce the heat down for another 25 minutes. Oh, I can already smell it again. That, that first waft of bread, you know, when you put it out of the oven, it's just so, I think it's probably my favorite smell. It's gorgeous, look how beautiful that is. Break the bread with your friends or your family. Mmm. Oh. It's crunchy on the outside, fluffy and light on the inside. It really is the best bread. Oh. I hope you've enjoyed being in my kitchen. It's been so lovely sharing this bread recipe with you. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want the recipe, the link is below. I'm back again next week. Um, I'm here every Thursday. So you might let me know by commenting below what you'd like me to cook next week. Um, or if you have any other culinary questions, just post them below. I'm live at the moment online, so I'm gonna be answering them while you comment. Um, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube, please. Please.